this guy. Can we play him instead of Sarah? Help me. Maybe this. Alright, I'm back. I'm back. Lip panel looks wrong. Oh, I, I understand what you're talking about, I think. Yeah, I caught, I caught the tail end of it as I came back to the PC. It was, it was the Seven Days to Die clip, right? So I imagine the problem might be because I recently switched from 720 output, 720p output to 1080 output. It was a Jux clip. Yeah, so it's, it's Seven Days to Die Jux clip. I think it might be the only clip I have since I switched to a 1080p and maybe I'm not actually resizing the video properly. Maybe I set it for 720 and I'm not resizing any 1080p videos properly. So I have to take a look at that. I believe I can easily, easily fix it. But not right now, obviously. So yeah, it's time for Shiva. It is the first, first Vegetai release. The first game by Dave Gilbert. It is a short one. It's like a uh, prototype of what was done. The ideas of, uh, the ideas that were later used in Blackwell. Shira. We are going to play Shira. Victory. And we are going to fight against He-Man. No. It is Shiva. Or Shywe. I don't know. It's it's a game. We are going to play a game chat. It is this game. A goy came up to Rabbi Moish to ask why do rabbis always answer with a question? To which Rabbi Moish replied, why not? The night sky about Manhattan will never win any awards. Okay, let's... Should we start the timer now? Uh, I think so. Let's just... Okay, I guess we are just jumping in the game. Is it started? The few stars visible look lonely and desperate. I could relate. Sometimes the line between salvation and damnation is a mighty fine one. I no longer knew which side I stood on. There are those who would say that I had no business being here. They might be right. I'm no longer sure what I'm doing, but I'm fairly sure I know who I am. I am the Shira. It's pronounced like the Hindu god, but with the accent on the final vowel. Sh Shiva? Shiva? I don't know. I'm not good at pronouncing anything. We are going to excuse my mistakes. So I guess we are not actually starting the timer right now. Let's stop, we will restart later. So this game was originally released in 2006 and it was, however, remade with a the um, version release a named uh, Kosher Edition, I think, in 2013, with uh, I think better art, or rather, uh, higher quality art, not not like better as it's different. It's the same art, just higher resolution or stuff, I think. And I think there is voice acting too. I'm not so sure. We got platinum in this game, got all the achievements. Oh, you did? There are some achievements, yeah. So I did play this game, in fact. It's not my first playthrough. I did play this in 2014, according to the achievements I have. And I don't remember the game, but there seems to be some, you know, choices we can make throughout according to the achievement titles, whatever I can make out from them. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to try and get 100% achievements or anything or even explore all of the game. We are going to see if there are multiple endings at the end, like always we can explore them. But otherwise we are going to go through the story. And uh, this is a short one, so it should take 
maybe two hours max. We'll see. Creator is a Jewish, so this is a cool game. Yeah, so um Okay then, let's see what it is. Let's see how it is. Has anyone else played this game? It began as many things do with a song. Adon Olam Asher Malach Baterem Ko Yitzir Nivra Lied Nasar Chel Tzokol Atzai Melech Shemo Nikra His final note faded off into the near empty synagogue unheard by anyone. As I had hundreds of times before this, I got ready to speak. And as I had hundreds of times before this, I began to wonder why. <clears throat> Thank you, Canner Kaplan. Today in my sermon, I'd like to discuss suffering. Why do bad things happen to good people? Wherever there is pain, is one or oppression, or poverty, the question is always the same. How could God let this happen? Is God as good as we think? Can he, in fact, do evil? Maybe, on occasion, he even enjoys inflicting pain. <laughs> I... I took a good hard look around my world. I... And then it hits me. No. I can't do this. I'm sorry. Rabbi? You heard. Huh? What? Go home, Mrs. Raymer. Is it over already? Yeah. Rabbi Stone, wait! Oof. You can't just stop. Sure I can. Just watch me. But... It's over, Josh. You can't mean that. Look, you're a good kid. You've got a good voice and a good future. Don't let me hold you back. Now do a mitzvah and call Mrs. Raymer a cab. I... Goodbye, Josh. Ah, poor guy. Is it over? It is. Ethical dilemmas have plagued religious leaders since the dawn of time. But morals don't mean crap without the personal experiences to back them up. Hmm. Okay, so we choose our attitude rather than what we actually say. I don't usually like this in a game. Because most of the time, either I misunderstand or the game doesn't actually really do what it claims it will do. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, I said. State the obvious. Services are cancelled. I repeat, services are cancelled. Okay, okay. Grudgingly acquiesces. Fine, acquiesces. I'm coming. Equ I don't know. <laughs> Can I just escape? There was nothing up there I wanted to see. Acquiesce. Shouldn't it be acquiesce? I thought I told you to go home. Rabbi Stone, there's someone here. Acquiesce. Tell him to get lost. There's no service tonight. No, My it's a, a cop. <laughs> huh? Detective Sam Durkin. Midtown oh. South Precinct. Sam Durkin from Could I Blackwell. Talk to you for a few minutes, Rabbi Stone. Sam Durkin was in the fourth game, right? Fourth Blackwell. Deception. We're a binical response. Is there some sort of problem, officer? I'd just like to ask you a few questions. Fine. Josh, take a hike. So, what can I do for you? I assume you're not here to convert. Are you familiar with a Mr. Jack Lauder? Should I be? I'm asking the questions, Rabbi. Fine. Let me think. Lauder. Lauder. Oh. You know him? Yeah. What can you tell me about him? He used to belong to this congregation. Used to? But not anymore? No. Left about eight years ago, I think. What's this about? 
Have you had any contact with him since? No, I haven't. Care to fill me in here? It is, in fact, the, the first title of Anandil. I mean, this was this was made originally back in 2006. However, the voiceovers belong to the Kosher edition, the remaster, if you will, from 2013. It is still one of the earliest ones, even the remake. The Binnacle Restore. Okay, let's go with this. Let's play in character. Who has the time? I guess it so is always asking a question, responding to a question with a question. Three days. I did my best to control myself. I knew this man's type. His eyes scanned my face like a barcode reader, trying to read every telltale sign of emotion. Any flicker, any twitch could be used against me later. No. Does that bother you? Should it? Answer me, Stone. No. So, you and Mr. Lauder weren't close? No, we weren't. What's the deal, Durkin? I've seen Lauder's will. He left you a significant amount of money. I'm going to go with this. It, I guess we are having this at every response. I don't know. He left me money? Is this a joke? Are you joking with me, detective? No, I'm not joking. How much? I don't have the exact amount, but somewhere in excess of 10,000. Bull. It's the truth. Jack wouldn't give me bubkiss, let alone $10,000. And why is that, Rabbi Stone? He just wouldn't. Huh. This temple's in pretty sad shape, isn't it, Rabbi? Well, you're not blind, that's for sure. Can you afford the repairs? I... <laughs> See, this is always there. The first two always change, but this is always there. Do I look like I can afford it? I'm just asking. It makes me think it's... Oh, you're just asking. Special and intended. Well, I'm going to ask you to leave. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Rabbi Stone. Get out of my office. Listen. No, you listen. I know where this is going, and I don't like it. I'm just doing my job. Yeah, you're a real mensch. Get out of here. Fine. I'll leave, Rabbi Stone. But I'll be back. Yes, exactly. Yeah, that, there will. was even a joke about it when we first booted up the game. That is why I want to go with them now. I wonder That's... if I did the first thing in my first playthrough. The rain beat an irregular staccato rhythm against the window. What is this, Max Payne? What are these descriptions? Is this a noir detector game? Or movie, but I could only hear one thing. Jack Louder. Jack Louder. And is that as it got louder? The name pulled out a cork in my brain, letting loose all thoughts and memories that fought and struggled for supremacy. Jack Louder. It was more than just a name. It was a link to a time when things were simpler. A time when I thought I had it all figured out. A time when morals and ethics meant something. A time before it all turned to crap. I need to think. So why does the music stop when the characters speak? No problem, if you cooperate. What is this? We are getting a Guido every day. <laughs> it was fine where it was. It read, if statistics are right, the Jews constitute but 1% of the human race. It suggested a nebulous dim puff of stardust lost in the blaze of the Milky Way. Properly, the Jew ought, ought hardly to be heard of, but he is heard of, has always been heard of. Mark Twain, 1899. Joy set this computer up a few weeks ago. He claimed I needed to join the 21st century schizoid 21st century and connect with the community. Josh has been bugging me to start using it. I suppose now was as good a time as any. We never liked this style of dialogue in video games. Do it tell, don't show style. Me neither. If only I could remember what Josh chose as my login and they password. They will be punished for their insolence. Hey, master. What a great character. Please enter your login. Um... Ramnet Net New York, where Juice connects. What is my login? Stone. Rabbi Stone. Oh, 
Move your mouse to the top of screen and access your inventory and menu. Yiddish dictionary. Meshuga, crazy, mensch, helpful person, momzer, bastard, son of a bitch, nebish, weakling, shiwa, period of mourning, shikse, non Jewish woman, yensa, a busybody, goy, non Jewish person. I bet I read all of them wrong. R stone. Okay, R stone is the login. Clue. Your password clue is busybody. What was it? I'm not expected to remember that, right? Yenta. Hello, Rabbi Russell Stone. Please choose an option below. Joke. Mosh was talking to his psychiatrist. I had a weird dream recently, he said. I saw my mother, but then I noticed she had your face. I found this so worrying that I immediately awoke and couldn't get back to sleep. I just stayed there thinking about it until 7am. I got up, made myself a slice of toast and some coffee and came straight here. Can you please explain? Can you please help me explain the meaning of my dream? The psychiatrist kept silent for some time then said, One slice of toast and coffee? Do you call that a breakfast? Har har har. You got this fast. You used a week to find out this. What? A week? A week? Come on. <laughs> Surely you are jesting, Katmas. <laughs> Martin Lewis converts and becomes a priest. He gives his first mass in front of a number of high-ranking priests who came for the occasion. At the end of the new priest sermon, a cardinal goes up to congratulate him. Pastor Lewis, he said, that was very well done. You are just perfect, but next time, please don't start your sermon with fellow Goyim. Oh. I think I understand that jog. Do I? Non Jewish person. <laughs> you didn't check the top, you'll see you didn't understand the meaning of one first sight. Ah, I see. Fail. <laughs> oh, anyway. Yeah, the, the game told us to check it though. The game told me to check the top. Maybe you played the non remastered version? Okay, let's let's move on. Mail from admin. Welcome to Ramnet. Mazato. Welcome to Ramnet, New York. The newest way to bring Jews together as a community. Our features are small but growing. Here's a list of what we currently offer. The mail feature allows you to send and receive mail. The search feature allows you to search our data archive of Jewish news, events, and members. Everyone needs a laugh. Check out our joke feature for the best in Jewish jokes. On behalf of myself and the entire Ravnet team, thank you for joining and making our community stronger. Jay Kaplan tests. Hello, Rabbi Stone. I set up your account for you. Hopefully, it'll work. Uh, it'll work out okay for you. You can change the password if you want. Most people choose things like their mothers or their wives' maiden name, but I thought this was appropriate. Haha. <laughs> Counter Josh. Al Schwartz shocked. Dear Rabbi Stone, I have been a loyal member of B'nai Ben Zion for many years, but I can't bring myself to listen to your dark and gloomy sermons any longer. Times are tough enough for us Jews without you rubbing salt in the wounds. Goodbye. Lisa Schwartz Dave at VegetaiGames.com Great games! For the best in games and entertainment, visit www.vegetaiGames.com Hear that chat? For best in games and entertainment, at least for best in points and click adventures. I recommend that you do visit indeed. J. Brooks at Atmail, what happened? Rabbi Stone, I'm sorry, but my family and I can't attend your service any longer. Your, your last few sermons have upset the children so much that it took several hours to calm them down. What happened to you, Jeremy Brooks? Oh, Tomo! <laughs> Tomo at Undisclosed. Special offer. For your network protection needs, contact Tomo. So Tomo is a running joke it's also appears in every blackwell game with such males and i think in unallowed as well yeah probably jay brooks that seems like a very common name manager at electric.com final notice Final notice, due to continued non-payment, your electrical service will be terminated if the overdue balance of 525.67 is not met by April the 21st. 
Contact our office if you have any questions. Sapple, disappointed. Rabbi Stone, I've tried to have faith in you, but it's obvious that you are becoming increasingly more unbalanced. You call yourself a Jew. Our people need leaders. Regretfully, Sarah Applebaum. Applebaum kind of sounds... a familiar name. Don. Overdraft notice. To Russell Stone, this is to inform you that your account is currently $1,893.43 into its overdraft. As you are aware, your account only has $1,000 of overdraft protection. Please submit the difference of $893.43 to us within 7 days so as not to damage your credit rating. So, things are rough. Search. What do I want to search? What was it? Why did I log out? I didn't want to log out. Yenta. Test. What are we testing? Um, okay. So who was the name of the person who died? Clues. We don't have any clues. You thought that was the password? <laughs> no, no, we had figured out the password before. It was fine where it was. Color photograph of Benai Banzion, Yacht Group Picnic. It was taken over 15 years ago. Most of those kids probably had families of their own by now. What was I going to do with them? Pay them? Just bills. Lots of them. There was nothing on the bookshelf I wanted to read. My collection of rabbinical texts, prayer books, Judaic history, and Harry Camelman novels. As much as I would have loved to break open a bottle of Kiddish wine, I didn't think it was appropriate. These books contain a small supply of Kiddish wine. Okay, let's leave, I guess. I don't know what we have to search for right now. Wow, Rabbi, what was that all about? See, it's, it appears again. Didn't I tell you to go home? Come on, Rabbi. I have to know. Who was killed? Josh, what did I tell you about listening at my door? I wasn't, Rabbi. Honest. You were just... very loud. Huh. So who was killed? Was it that Lauder guy? Josh Lauder. Do you think so? Yeah. Who else could it be? I heard you talking about him. Huh. We must have talked very loud. Well, yeah. So who is he? An old member of this congregation. Ah, that's too bad. Yeah, well, it happens to the best of us. Are you going to pay a shiva call? Shiva. I don't think there will be a shiva, Josh. Why? Shivas are for Jewish families. Just forget it. All right, if that's what you want. I guess I'll go now. Yeah. Good night, Cantor. Night, Rabbi. The music stopping is kind of annoying. $10,000. Less than 20 minutes ago, I had accepted defeat. The bank was going to foreclose on the property, and there was nothing I could do. Jack's money changed all that. The Benai Ben Zion synagogue could remain open. I wouldn't. Zion? It's Zion, right? Not Zion. I wouldn't have to see my life's work. Turned into a shopping mall or a parking lot. Has God answered my prayers? The age old question. What is the work of God and what is the work of man? The money was a boon, there was no doubt about that. Is there something different? Oh! Hmm, okay. Let's see if I can fix that quickly. Yep, yep, yep. That was my fault. But it was blood money, and I couldn't believe God would work that way. I don't like it. Not one bit. Why, Jack? Why me? Why now? They say God helps those who help themselves. And I had done absolutely nothing to get this money. I didn't trust it. 
Suddenly, Cantor's words came back to me. A Shiva call. I can't just barge in unannounced. But I can pay a Shiva call. It's the only way. Right-click and hold to show all items on screen. Oh! What? Okay, this is good. There were no entries. Louder. Jack Louder, not Josh. Contact information. Jack Louder, 100 Jane Street, apartment 4E. Garment district murder. Jack Louder of Beth Hikwa was found dead last night in his midtown office, victim of an apparent assault by person or persons unknown. We at Ravnet express our sympathies to Jack's friends and family. So I guess we got the address. Is what matters. <sighs> Let's go back. Arc, lectern, lectern. Let's check all these. I had no need for the counter things. The Torah arc was locked up tight. Besides, I didn't want to tempt any Wendels in the area. There was nothing on the podium. Louder Residence. I remember this exact house in one of the Black Wells. This is Lauder? Yes? I heard about your husband. I came to... pay my respects. Oh, you knew Jack? So they reused the assets. Interesting. I think the decoration was a bit different in that one, but, you know, the location of the chair and the doors, the back room, all of them was exactly the same. Rebinical response. Does one need to know a man in order to grieve him? That's, uh, I suppose not. All right. Come on in. Which Blackwell was I'm it? sorry, you look so familiar, but I can't place your face. What is your name? If I wanted answers, she'd have, she'd have to know who I was. This required tact. Rabbi Nicholas. You don't remember me? Eight years ago, Rabbi Russell Stone? Oh, I remember now. You have a lot of nerve coming here. Why do you think that, Mrs. Lauder? Oh, don't give me that. I know all about those tricks. Answering a question with a question. Jack did it all the time. I'd like to think he learned it from me. It's too late for that, Rabbi. Way too late. What do you want? <laughs> approach. Do I need to have a reason to pay a shiva call? Huh. If it's you, yes. I... Oh, stop it. Just stop it. I don't believe this. You threw us out of your temple eight years ago. And now you drop by for a visit? It wasn't like that. Well, what was it then? Can you tell me that? Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe you're right. And yet you're here. Why? Why would the police come speak to me, Mrs. Lauder? I have no idea. What did they say? That I'm suspect number one. Really? Well, that would make sense. Who else has a motive except for the rabbi who hates us? Why do you think I hate you, Mrs. Lauder? Enough. Do you have to do that here? Now? Exactly, there I have to. There is a time and a place, rabbi. And this is not it. Look, I don't hate... Whatever. Jack hated you. That's enough. Mrs. Lauder, if he hated me so much... Why did he leave me $10,000 in his will? That's impossible. I said the same thing. Jack wouldn't do that. It's a crazy world. How do you know for sure? The police told me. I have no love of the police, but I doubt they'd lie about that. Mrs. Lauder, if Jack hated me so much, 
Why did he give me so much money? I... I don't know. This makes no sense. None of it does. Who would kill Jack? He was a good man. Yes, he was. Don't you start. You have no idea. The police have no other leads? Aside from you? No. How did he die? I don't see how that's any of your business. I... well... I suppose I'm curious, and I'd like to... help. Help? Why would you want to help? I don't know. Maybe I... Ooh... Hmm... You can't make an easy choice right now. We don't have our fixed choice here. I feel... do we feel guilty? You're not selfish, we might feel guilty, but I think the actual answer that we want to pick is I want to make amends. Maybe I'm looking to make amends for what happened eight years ago. Oh, that's rich. You come in here puffed up and arrogant and sputtering platitudes, and now you want to help. Yes, if you'll have me. Forget it. Keep the ten grand. I don't care. Just get out. I don't want to see or hear from you ever again. Uh, but... Leave! Or so help me, I will call the police. As you wish. I'm sorry to have troubled you, Mrs. Lauder. Just go. I messed up big time. I tried calling her a few more times, but she always rang up on me. Eventually, she made good on her threat to call the police. With my suspicious behavior and my dubious connections to Jack, they wasted no time in arresting me for the murder. I can't help but wonder. What if I could go back and have that conversation again? And if wishes were wings, we'd all be flying. I guess I'll never know. Game over! We won! Are you serious? So there is... There is death in this game? Yes. I think only the last one matters. I'm sorry. What is I want to try that. I know. Jack did. Do I? Oh. I don't. Sierra lives exactly. Maybe. The Maybe and yes. Why? I have no. Why did you? And Jack. That's Jack. How? Do I suppose. Let's try this one. Maybe I feel guilty. I can't take Jack's ten grand without doing something to earn it first. Oh, that's rich. You come in here, pop, and now you want. Yes. Forget. Keep the okay. ten. I completely agree. I completely agree. Gabriel Knight one is different. Well, it suffers from some of the same problems that Sierra games do, but still... Gable Knight 1 is so much better than, you know, King's Quest, Space Quests... In my opinion. So I want to try... at the I am selfish option while choosing all, all the rabbinical approaches. You won't don't pass out I, I and I'd like Hell, why would maybe, maybe I'm just selfish. If I find the real killer, the police will get off my tail. Oh, that's rich. You come in here, puffed okay. up and arrogant and sp and now you Yes. Forget keep the just I don't want to see uh, but leave. So that's, that's so not going to work. As you I'm we have to change our other other dialogue options. We cannot always go with that. And she doesn't like it. She she makes it clear that she doesn't like it. 
So let's do that dialogue differently. Completely differently. Take four. Let's go. Mrs. Lauder? Yes? I heard about your husband. I came to... pay my respects. Oh. You knew Jack? Some time ago, yes. All right. Come on in. I'm sorry. You look so familiar, but I can't place your face. What is your name? Let's go with the Wazer response. I'm Russell Stone. Your husband used to... I mean, we used to go to the same temple that I go to. Yeah. Words stumbled out of my mouth like a drunken football player. Her eyes narrowed, I could tell she was not amused. Oh, I remember now. You have a lot we of nerve been coming here. We should have been honest. Apologetic, let's, let's apologize. Well, I'm sorry about that. Oh, you're sorry, are you? I'm so glad to hear that. Jack would love to hear that you are sorry. He knows already, Mrs. Lauder. Too late, Rabbi. Too late. What do you want? I just want to talk about Jack. Talk? Just came by for a friendly chat? Is that it? I... Oh, stop it. Just stop it. I don't believe this. You threw us out of your temple eight years ago, and now you drop by for a visit? It wasn't like that. Well, what was it then? Can you tell me that? Maybe this was a bad idea. Maybe you're right, and yet you're here. Why? The police visited me today. Did they? Yes. What did they say? That I'm suspect number one. Really? Well, that would make sense. Who else has a motive except for the rabbi who hates us? I'll let that slide. Whatever. That Jack was the accepting you. approach. That's enough. Mrs. Lauder, if he hated me so much, why did he leave me $10,000 in his will? That's impossible. I said the same thing. Jack wouldn't do that. It's a crazy world. How do you know for sure? The police told me. I have no love of the it police. It feels like we I can make no difference until that. this point. Mrs. Lauder, if Jack hated me so much, why did he give me so much money? I... I don't know. This makes no sense. None of it does. Who would kill Jack? He was a good man. Yes, he was. Okay, I Don't think you he actually... Start. You have no idea. Never mind. The police have no other leads? Aside from you? No. How did he die? I don't see how that's any of your business. I... Well... I suppose I'm curious. And I'd like to... Help. Help? Why would you want to help? I don't know. Maybe I... It's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Hey, Vincino. How are you? Good to see you. You can do... Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. Let's say we feel guilty. I don't know if you made any difference. How are you today, Vincino? Maybe I feel guilty. I can't take Jack's ten grand without doing something to earn it first. Pfft. Why not? Why shouldn't a rabbi play at being detective? Okay. You want to invest she didn't say Stone? it's rich. Be my guest. I'll have to ask you some questions about what happened. Can't you just ask the police? They won't talk I'm well, to me. Thank I'm you. a suspect. I'm well. Fine. Fine. Better today. Ask whatever you want. Hey, we did it. Whatever we did, it works. How did Jack die? He was shot, right in the head, at close range, according to the police. I... I'm sorry, Mrs. Lauder. 
He was in the showroom, working late. That's all I know. What business was your husband in? We were in business together. Fashion design, high-end casual wear, shirts, blouses, slacks. I'd design and he'd sell. Was the business successful? We did all right. It was tough at first, but things have been picking up over the last few years. We sell to mainly boutique stores, but Macy's has bought several pieces from us, and Saks was interested. Macy's, Saks, should I be taking notes? And what happens to the business now? Are you going to run it by yourself? I guess I could, but not right away. And definitely not in that same showroom. I can understand that. Where is your showroom? Why? Do you want to have a look? It can't hurt. Oh, this is crazy. Do you really want to do this? Yes. Sure, if you want to have a look, go ahead. Just because trained police officers couldn't find anything doesn't mean a rabbi can't. The building is 1407 Broadway, room 903. You've covered up the mirror. Yes, it's what you are supposed to do, right? Well, yes, but... I know. I'm not Jewish. I'm probably doing it all wrong, but it feels right. Is it right, Rabbi? <laughs> Should we choose this? No, she will hate it. Should we be critical? Nah. This is not a critical it's game. This is comforting it's game. Let's go comforting it's response. Perfect. Thank you. How are you holding up, Mrs. Lauder? Fine. As well as can be expected. What is the name of your business? Charming Fashion Company. Charming. Yeah, it's a strange name, but it has meaning behind it. It's based on my family's name, Sharma. And it sounds like charming. I get it. Real cute. Sharma, what was was it was it the name of the Indian flute player in Blackwell? Or some other character? It also sounds familiar to me. Charming. Can you tell me about your company again? Sure. What do you want to know? Oh, that was Dishanti, yeah, yeah. You're right. I'm going to leave now. I'll see what else I can discover. Thanks. I guess. Rabbi Stone? Yes? About eight years ago. Could you just tell me why? Were you and Jack happy? Yes. Yes, we were. Then my reasons don't matter. Let's go here. Her full name is Nishanti Sharma, yes. See? I remembered right for a change. I had no reason for a clothing hanger. I wasn't that desperate for a larger congregation. <laughs> I couldn't think of a reason to take it with me. Designs for some sort of skimpy sundress with some orders attached. This design board was the only spark of creativity left in this deserted showroom. I didn't know much about fashion design, but it looked like a skirt, or maybe a large skirt. It was a poster of some blank-faced woman, woman in a hat. Let's check the computer. Charming Fashion Co. Password. Let's see. It was a photo of Mrs. Lauder with a posted note reading, don't forget anniversary flowers. Flowers. If there's a receipt or something, or flowers, you could learn the anniversary dates and, you know, it's probably the password. There doesn't seem to be much here. I decided to leave it where it was.
charming was the name of Jack and Rashri's Lo Rashi Loader's fashion design business. Hmm. Isn't there a clue, Batson? Give me the clue. Louder. Anniversary. I don't know. Rack. I had no need. Let's see if we can find something somewhere else. Maybe we go back to her. Mrs. Lauder. Oh, come on. What? We were in fashion high end car. I did. Was we did. It was tough at. We sell to mainly boutique stores. Macy's, but Macy's sucks. Has okay. And what happened? I get. And definitely. I can understand. What is the. Charming. Charm. Yeah. It, it, it's based on. And it sounds. Hang real. Can you tell me about your company again? Sure. What do you want? Never mind. I'm going. Oh. Never mind. Let's search for Macy's and Sachs. Entaro Adun. Hey, Zero Tool. Hey, BG Nart, how are you today? No problem, if you cooperate. What's happening? So many Guidos every day. Like, it's it's the second Guido today. And two Guidos yesterday too? I don't know. We keep getting Guido. <laughs> what's, what's it? Hello, my friend. Charming fashion. High quality fashion at affordable prices based out of Manhattan's legendary Mitsan garment district. Charming is a huge husband and wife team aiming to introduce fine Indian fabrics to the boutique couture market. Hmm. Louder. Charma. <clears throat> How are you, BGNard? Good to see you. Marolf. That's an interesting character. Okay, I'm not sure. Hmm. How can we learn about their anniversary? I feel like that is our clue. Rashri. No, there was an H too. Raj Shri. Beth Thikwa. Maybe you can go to Beth Thikwa. Beth Thikwa Synagogue contact information. Chief Rabbi Am Amos Zilig. So this is where we are going to get the rest of the probably clue. Bio. 
Amos Zillig moved to New York in 1963 with his wife Carol and his dog Dodger. Since then, he has been one of the most prolific rabbis in the city. His wife and dog are gone now, but Beth Tikwa remains one of the strongest centers of the Jewish community. Okay, new place to go. Several of the photos showed a group of children sitting around the table. Two men flanked the children, smiling at the camera like they just won the lottery. The cap a caption re read, Jay Siller and E. Goldberg on duty at the Beth Tikva Youth Center. Jay Silver, E. Goldberg. The desire to scratch it with my keys was strong, but it passed. Really? Meh. I've seen better. <laughs> A tasteful podium of lacquer oak. It looked brand new and smelled of recent polish. Meh. I've seen better. What a bitter old man. It's firmly attached to the window frame. Okay. It wouldn't match my home furniture. The Cantor's lectern was an elegant affair made from lacquer oak. It looked brand new. Meh. Okay. A large tasteful stained glass window surveyed the synagogue from its high vantage point. I suppose it's okay. Okay. More of the same. Uh, Torah. Services must have just ended as they hadn't gotten around to putting the Torah away yet. I can't believe they're just leaving it here for anyone to come in and take it. They must have dozens of them in a back room somewhere. Dozens. Yes? You're the chief rabbi here at Beth Tikva. I do carry that honor. So, what can I do for you, Mr... Uh... Rabbi, actually. Rabbi Stone. Well, fancy that. I can always spare time for a fellow rabbi. What brings you to our home? It's going to be... It's going to be a duel of the rabbis, chat. Watch. May the best rabbi win. Do you know Mr. Jack Lauder? Should I know Mr. Jack Lauder? Don't you think you should know Jack Lauder? Why do you think so? Wasn't he a member of your congregation? Was he? Don't you know your own congregation? Am I expected to know everybody? Well... Oh, we lost! We lost! Amos broke out into an angelic smile. Are you finished? I guess. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> We lost. He was a member of your congregation. He died a few days ago. That's right. The funeral service was yesterday. I honestly don't know where my head is these days. You conducted the ceremony? Yes. His wife insisted on it. Did she now? If I may ask, what is your interest in Mr. Lauder? Aren't all matters of our flock our concern? Uh, well, not every matter. But still, we do what we can, don't we? Is there anything you can tell me about Mr. Lauder? I'm afraid not, Rabbi Stone. My congregation is rather large, and Mr. Lauder seldom attended services. I'm sure I don't need to tell you what that's like. You certainly don't. Aww. Have you ever heard of a clothing brand called Charming? A clothing brand? Yes. Young men, I am hardly in the best position to keep track of the latest fashions. I can hardly keep track of my own socks. He's a time. vampire. <laughs> Good night to you, Rabbi Zelig. Good night to you, Rabbi Stone. So we didn't earn mu learn much. 
maybe with the photos or maybe we can ask the wife Mrs. Oh, it come up. Really? Okay, there's nothing here. Let's search for the names. J. Silver, E. Goldberg. Have I looked here? There was nothing up there I wanted to see. The records are cleared out every, every few years. If I want the information out the track loader, I'd have to look elsewhere. E. Goldberg resulted in over 10,000 search results. Please narrow your search. E. Goldberg, Beth Thikwa. Jewish E. Goldberg. E. Goldberg in the photo. Would it would it help? Several of the photos show the group of children sitting around the table. Two men flank the children, smiling at the camera like they just won the lottery. Caption read: J. Silver, E. Goldberg on duty at the Beth Thikwa Youth Center. Beth Thikwa. Did I misspell it? J Silver? We can search for the Beth Thikwa Youth Center, maybe. Okay. Why can't we find this? I figure if we cannot find this, then it's not really important. No, okay. I, f I forgot I forgot the word again Yenta hmm so what do we do? I had come across this quote some years ago and had decided to have it printed on Mount Zook. This, this is what we read. My diploma from Benai Brit Yeshua. Has it really been 30 years? 
my certification of rabbinical studies. This is certified that Russell Elias Stone has been granted the title of rabbi by Nybrith Yeshua on the date of June 23rd, 1970. I feel like I'm missing something with the other rabbi. Let's visit the two characters and the areas. No. I couldn't steal a Torah from Ederman's synagogue, besides it's not too heavy. Otherwise, I you can't would. believe that. Yes. Have you ever? Yes. Young men, I can. Okay. Good night. Good night to you. Do you want anything new to ask her either? Mrs. Oh, it come up. Can you sure what and what ha I guess and definitely I can understand was the we did it was tough at f we sell to mainly boutique stores but Macy's has bought several pieces from us what business we were in business fashion high-end car I desire what is the charming fa Char yeah it it's based on and it sounds like real charm I'm going to charm fact I can't seem to catch a clue anywhere. Maybe I missed something here. No, 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 no. What could the passport be? Beth Tikwa. Tikwa. Beth. Amos. Goldberg. Are you serious? Your password is Sharma? Is it that simple? I am glad I bothered to try it. Welcome back, Jack Loader. Please choose an option below. Ledger. Out, oh, Joe DiMarco, 500. There were a lot of personal checks written out to a Joe DiMarco. Joe DiMarco. You want Shawarma? What is that? Goldberg and Weiselbaum. Jack hired an accounting firm. So All right, this scene contains every name. I'll take a screenshot of it so we can search for these. Jody Marker Goldberg and Weiselbaum is the accounting firm Macy's. You recognize the name, it was a clothing store. Evidently they bought products from Jack and paid for it properly. All cut and dry, there was nothing unusual there. Moda of Broadway. I recognize the name, it was a clothing store. Jody Marker, Grayson Sportswear. Loose shipping. This payment went out to a shipping company, nothing unusual about that. 
Bethtikwa sounded like the name of a synagogue. It looked like Jack decided to stay devout after all. Mail. Let's start from here. Undeliverable. The following message was on was undeliverable. The reported error was subscriber RSTNOE does not exist on Ramnet. Why couldn't why what couldn't it deliver, I wonder? Messages as follows. Hello Rabbi Stone, it's been a while. I hope I got the correct email address. No doubt you are surprised to hear from me. I'm not sure why I'm writing either. I often think what you said, it still angers me, but I can understand your motives. You looked at us and said, nothing is worse than when Jews turn their backs on one another. I can still remember that look in your eyes, sheer contempt, like we were the worst sort of scum that ever crawled out of the ocean. I love my wife, Rabbi Stone. She's my partner in everything. I regret nothing, nothing, that is, except you. I hated you for years. I hated you. We both did. I joined the Under Temple with a rabbi who was willing to marry us and tried to forget about you. But then I found myself in trouble and in need of guidance, I could think of nowhere else to turn. You called me a traitor once, do you still feel that way? I've seen traitors, I've seen Jews turn their backs on other Jews, it's not pretty, it's awful, I'm not like them. Time has cooled my hatred, has it done the same to you? I need to speak to you, I feel like I'm 12 years old again, preparing for my bar mitzvah and needing help with my Torah portion. I know I didn't marry a Jewish girl or go to temple every week or keep a kosher or keep kosher or do any of the many things we are supposed to do, but I have always known that I was Jewish. Is that enough? I'm not a traitor rabbi. I have never forgotten I'm Jewish. Jack Lauder. Later, Ray. Thanks so much for stopping by and being here for a while. I really appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Okay. Money transfer from Kenny Lou. How are you? We are still awaiting payment transfer from you. Your goods are taking us space in our warehouse. Please submit the money ASAP or we will be forced to liquidate them. Kenny Lou. Kenny Lou. Ethan G meeting. J. Okay, I got you into this mess. I will get you out of it. I'm meeting with JDM tonight. Do not write him any more checks until you hear from me. So this is Jody Marco. If he wants to play hardball, he picked the wrong guys to mess with. JDM, a rotten deal? Hmm, this is worth looking into. Trouble. Call me now. We need to talk. Okay. The fit model cancelled again. Can she be any more useless? Okay, we'll just have to find someone else. Don't forget we are having dinner at Gold Watchers tonight. Gold Watchers. Gold Watchers, maybe anniversary dinner? What is the date on this? We can't see the date. Ethan G, you are right. Your instinct was right. Something isn't right with this deal. All the wire transfers lead to different places and nobody answers the phone. I just realized we we had we had we were told that most people use their mothers or their wives' um, uh, maiden surname as passwords. We were told that at the beginning in one of the emails. That, I guess that's where we should have caught the clue for the Sharma password. Nobody answers the phone at any of them. My accountant's sense is tingling. Don't panic, Jack. I'll get to the bottom of this. See you at Temple tonight. So Ethan G... Oh, Ethan G is E. e Goldberg. Ethan Goldberg. Okay. No, we read this. Kenny Lou, shipping. How are you? Your goods are packed and ready to ship. Why the fans will get it on the next boat. This is strange. The rates do seem unusually high. I'll look into it. Tomo, a special offer. For your network and protection, please contact Tomo. Patterson Producers. I got those short designs done. I'll send copies out to the factory to get fit samples made. And guess what? I got them. Spend an hour on the phone with telecharge, but I got the tickets. Orchestra seats too. I'll meet you at the office at 6. No excuses this time. Business matters from Eaton. That must be an oversight. I'll look into it. Okay, so we got a bunch of things to search. One is Joe DiMarco. The other is... Ethan Goldberg. We can combine clues. Jody Marco is JDM. Jody Marco, JDM. That had to be it. 
Joe's meeting with Ethan with Ethan. DJ DM in Ethan's letter had to be Joe DiMarco. Based on my discoveries, Joe DiMarco evidently had a meeting with someone named Ethan. Jack Lauder received a few urgent emails from an Ethan G. I need to find out more about this person. Jack Lauder received an email from Ethan G which described the meeting with JDM. In Jack's ledger, there were several personal checks made out to a Joe DiMarco. It's reasonable to assume that JDM and Joe DiMarco are the same person. Okay. So, let's search. However, I, I wonder if I have to actually... You know, activate a clue about E. Goldberg. Since that's a mechanic in-game. No. It's not. It's not. So let's let's go search. So I guess Jay Silver is not important. So first let's search things that are probably not important. Goldberg. Advisal bomb? No, not free. What am I doing? Result in over 10,000. Okay. Um, Kenny Lou. Gold Watchers. Gold Watchers properly spelled. Gold Watcher. Um, okay. Ethan Goldberg. With a warm rush of triumph, I knew I found my man. Accountant dead in Mary Hill shootout. Ethan Goldberg of Beth Tikva was found dead last night in a Mary Hill alleyway outside Paddy O'Hare's pub, the victim of an apparent mugging. We at Ravnad express our sympathies to Ethan's friends and family, Paddy O'Hare. Well, rating 1 in 5. E33rd Street between Park and Lexington. Wow, I did not think they still had dives like this in Manhattan. Do not use the bathroom, said Jamie. Joe DiMarco. So the mark result in over 10,000 results. All right, we are. We have a new clue. Murray here. That wasn't coming off the wall without a tint of paint stripper and an, ant an enthusiastic youth group. It wasn't the kind of graffiti with artistic merits. It was just some sleazy graffiti in the grimy alley. Okay, let's enter the bar. A poster advertising the latest rock craze adorned the wall. Excuse me. Hello? She ignored me. She seemed to be staring into space at something that wasn't there. In another place, in another place, another time, I might have stopped to help her. But people like her are a dime a dozen in the city. Excuse me. The bartender glared at me with vague disinterest. Ask about Ethan. I'm looking for information on Ethan Goldberg. He was killed outside of this bar. The bartender Do shrugged. Do you know anything about it? He gave me a glare that told me everything I needed to know about asking more questions. Do you know a Mr. Jack Lauder? The bartender rolled his eyes and began eyeing the other customers. It seemed that he wasn't a very talkative fellow. I'm looking for information on Joe DeMarco. He narrowed his eyes and glared daggers at me. I wasn't going to get any information out of him. But was there a flicker of recognition in his eyes?
Some old faded photographs were tacked to the wall. Can't I just have a drink in peace? No. I couldn't reach them. Let's go to the jukebox. The jukebox was broken. The last section of vines and spirits lay on the shelves. The bartender surveys this domain with the expression of one hoping something better will come along. Be quiet. Who are you talking to? Excuse me. Wait, is oh. this... Is this the main character from Blackwell? Is she talking to Joe? It is her! It is her! <laughs> they must have added in the kosher edition. Stop that. So, Joe DiMarco with uh, Paddy's. They have a connection. But let's talk to the other people first. Yes? Does the name Joe DeMarco mean anything to you? DeMarco? Yes. Sounds Italian. Other than that, it means nothing. Sorry. Do you know anything about Ethan G meeting up with Joe DeMarco? In all honesty, I have no idea who Joe DiMarco is, so I'm afraid the answer is no. I was hoping you could tell me something about Ethan Goldberg. I know he used to work here. Ethan? Oh, what a tragedy. That man did wonders for this community. It's a shame what happened to him. You know about his death? Of course. I conducted the funeral service myself. I recently found out that Ethan Goldberg and Jack Lauder did business together. Really? I'm not surprised. Ethan offered his services to many people. He was a whiz with an adding machine. So I heard. He was an abacus expert. Good night, team. Good night. Mrs. Lauder. Oh, it's you. Come on in. Have you ever heard of the name Joe DeMarco? Joe? Joe. Joe. Yes, I've heard of Joe. He was one of our first investors. He invested in Sherman? Yes. Why did you need an investor? Well, we didn't have much money to start the business with. All the banks saw us as a poor risk, so we needed independent investors. Have you ever met Joe? Jack handled the money stuff, although I know Jack didn't like him. Why not? He didn't say. He just didn't like him. But we were desperate, so we had no choice. How did they meet each other? I think they were introduced. At the temple of all places. At temple? So Joe DeMarco is Jewish? Maybe. Why? DeMarco is not a very Jewish name. And that's important to you, is it? Not to me, no. But it's certainly significant. Hmm. Do you know anything about Ethan G meeting up with Joe DeMarco? I'm afraid not. If they met, I'm sure it had something to do with the business. Ethan was our accountant, and Joe was our primary investor. Although I have no idea what they'd want to talk about. Do you know an Ethan Goldberg? Oh, Ethan Goldberg. Yeah, I know him. Who is he? An accountant. We used him to handle taxes and complicated documents for the business. Not full-time, just on a consultant basis. Wait, is he involved in this? Not anymore. He's dead. What? Since when? About a week or two ago. Murdered. My God! What is happening? That's what I'm trying to figure out. 
You really think Joe DeMarco is Jewish? I told you, I have no idea. Maybe Joe DeMarco is Joe Silver or Jay Silver. I'm going to I'll see. Fine. Yes. Did a Joe DeMarco ever belong to this temple? DeMarco. That's hardly a Jewish name. I know. Although it's difficult to say. As I told you, it's difficult to keep track of individual congregation members. He was an investor in Jack Lauder's company. Does that mean anything to you? I don't know. Should it? No, I suppose not. Okay. Oh. Doesn't any of this strike you as odd? Should it? Two Jewish men, both in business together and both belonging to the same synagogue, are killed within two weeks of each other. A third man, who may or may not be Jewish, is nowhere to be found. There are only two connections between these three men. One is Jack's you. business. The other is this synagogue. Rabbi Stone, I hope you're not suggesting anything... I'm not. Let me finish. People all over the world use religious communities to network and conduct business. This is nothing new. You know this, Rabbi Stone. If there is a connection, it has to do with their business dealings and nothing to do with Beth Tikva. I won't stand for our reputation being tarnished. Do I make myself clear? As crystal. Why did you kill Ethan? I'm glad we understand each other. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is rather late. I understand. I'll see myself out. Wait, let me give you my card. Feel free to email me if you have any more questions. One more question, Rabbi. Why did you kill Jack, huh? Okay. So we are done with that. With that place. Hmm. This is oh, come on. You I okay. Let's go. Going off. Sorry, Mrs. Sharma, this was a misclick. Oh, can we log into his account? Rabbis. Your password clue is pets. What's this pets? Pets, pets, pets. Oh! Dodger. That was Dodger, right? Yes, the name of his dog. Hello, Rabbi Amos Zilig. Please choose an option below. Ravnet. Welcome to Ravnet, New York. The newest way to... Okay, this is the same thing. J. Kotok. Wonderful. Hello, Rabbi Zilik. So you finally joined the 21st century, eh? It's about time. Haha, <laughs> Mazel tov, etc. Just wanted to congratulate you on another hair-raising sermon today. Everyone must glue to their seats. See you next Friday. J. Newman interview. Dear Rabbi Zilig, my name is Jared from the Jewish Weekly. I have heard of your recent philanthropic activities and was wondering if you'd consent to an interview. Feel free to connect, contact me anytime. Hmm. Jared, Jewish Weekly. Tomo. Be small, inspiring. 
Rabbi Zilig, just got back home. Thanks for giving me a tour of your temple. It's interesting to see how things are done in the big city. Your sermon was, as always, of inspiring. You are right, times have changed since Bible times, but people sure haven't. Thanks again, Amos. Be sure to look me up in the next look me up the next time you are in our neck of the woods. David Small. David Small. Ethan G. Joe. Rabbi, I'm a bit concerned about this investor you set Jack up with. Can you tell me what you know about him? Rabbi, I knew you were the killer. T. Walters, thanks. Yo, Rabbi, thanks for the kiss sticks. Happy we could be of service. Rabbi has connections for sure. J. Lauder. Rabbi Zilik, I appreciate that you took the time to help us out. We were cash poor and in serious need of help, but I can't help but be concerned. Are you sure this investor is on the up and up? He has money certainly, but the man gives me the serious creeps. We need the money, so I will accept his money for now. But I was hoping you could tell me more about him. Thanks, Jack. Roy, no subject. Amos, if that Goldberg character has been making waves, you know what to do. What? Roy. JD Marco on it. That's your message. it has been giving me trouble, so that's not a problem. I'll get in touch when I chat with him. Wow, he's actually guilty. Jay Sandman, wow. Rabbi, I just wanted to write and tell you how excellent your service was. My friend dragged me on Friday, even though I don't usually go to temple thing. I've already signed up. You got a new member. I'll be going to your temple from now on. I'm only looking forward to the next Friday. Jennifer Sandman. A. Goldberg. Thank you. Thank you, Rabbi Zilik, for the lovely service you performed for my husband, Ethan. Your kind words were wonderful anecdotes put everyone at ease, especially me. As you know, Ethan worked very hard for the Jewish community and to a lesser extent, Beth Tikwa, and I'm sure he is very happy to know his work was appreciated. Thank you again, Rabbi Zilig. I will see you bright and early Friday night, Alison Goldberg. Should we search for Alison Goldberg? Ethan. Rabbi, the police are asking me about Ethan. I told them who he was missing, but they say it's not important. Not important? How can this not be important? Rabbi, why aren't you doing something? I'm sure he has something to do with this. What have you gotten us mixed up in? R. Blackwell. Rosa Blackwell. Rosangela. Rabbi Zilik, thank you for answering my questions. The article will appear next week. Rosangela Blackwell. J. Loader, Eaton. Calm down, Eaton is dead. I fear for my life. Your so called investor is demanding more interest and is threatening me and my wife. You tell me to calm down? How could you do this? How could you get us involved with a creep like that? Don't tell me you're not involved. When I think of you looking at all holy and pious during Eaton's funeral service, I want to throw up. I can't even tell my wife I'm so ashamed of myself to think I was so blinded by greed that I couldn't see beneath the surface. I was better off with Stone. He was pig headed and arrogant, but at least you knew where he stood. Watch your back, Rabbi. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Do not think this is over. You call yourself a Jew? You traitor. Jody Marco. You are certainly keeping me busy. I got your message. I'll let you know when it's done. Okay. So, Rabbi Amos is giving the orders for sure. Rabbi Zilling, I am not Jewish myself, but Jack was very devout and I felt I owed it to him to give him a proper Jewish funeral. Thank you so much for your help and for answering all my questions. I am sure Jack would have appreciated the effort and care you put into the service. I am going to try to prepare a proper Shiva. You are welcome to come by and come by to pay your respects. Thanks again, Rashri Loader. Mm, let's search. Alison Goldberg. Jared's Jewish Times, Jewish Weekly, Jewish Weekly, David Small, nothing. We go to Sharma now.
This is Oh, it come out. Really? I'm going to So maybe we are going to the bar. Rosangela, help us. Oh. Evening. Yeah. So what's your name? Look, could you leave me alone? Are you Jody Marcus, sir? It looked like this was the type of place where people didn't want to be bothered. Nice night. Whatever. Do you know Joe DeMarco? Sure I do. That's my name. Really? Oh! Yeah. What of it? You're a hard okay. guy to track down. Well, yippee! You found me. What do you want? Nice night. Whatever. Ask about Ethan. Why did you kill Ethan? What's your beef with Ethan Goldberg? Never heard of him. Your name appears in connection with his. Lots of Ethan Goldbergs. Lots of Joe DeMarcos. Both are common names. You got nothing. So leave me alone. Ethan Why, so was defensive. killed just outside of this bar. Coincidence. You still got nothing. Voiceovers are pretty low quality. Ask about Zelig. Do you know Rabbi Zelig? What's Zelig? A rabbi. Was he being serious? He sounds like such a nice guy. I know, right? And the hair is a dead giveaway that is so cool. His true intentions were hidden behind those dull, glassy eyes. A ruse or a plain ignorance, it was impossible to His tell. His full name is Amos Zelig. Nope. Sorry. What's your connection with Jack Lauder? Don't know him. Sure you do. He wrote you a number of checks. Whoever he wrote them to, it wasn't me. Your name is on the checks. Then it's some other Joe DeMarco. Get out of here. Get out of here. Are you Jewish, Mr. DeMarco? Huh? No. What the hell is Jewish? His ignorance was either fake or genuine. Either way, I have my Never answer. mind. Poke at the holes in the story. Your name comes up yet again, Mr. DeMarco. This time in several emails addressed to Rabbi Zelig. So? So what's the deal? It wasn't me. It was another Joe. Can it? Sing another tune, because I'm sick of the old one. It's enough evidence to book you if I choose to go to the police. So are you gonna tell me what's going on? Joe DeMarco gave me the once-over. His dull pale eyes explored my face. He knitted his eyebrows as if doing some internal calculations, and then finally nodded. Fine. You wanna talk? Let's talk. But not here. Follow me. No. He's going to kill us. Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. I will totally fall for it, but let's see. Come on, Rabbi. We'll have more privacy down here. You've pissed off the wrong people, Rabbi. I yeah. have a problem with you, but now I gotta kill you. I see. You're an assassin. I had a feeling you were smart. Your people are in this very, very deep. My people? You mean the Jews? A very cozy operation. <laughs> Let's... this is probably get us... This is probably going to get us killed. What sort of operation was this? Don't think I'll be doing that. Professional courtesy. Say goodbye. You think I'll go so easily? Don't make me laugh, old man. Do you really think you'll get away with this? I've been getting away with this since I was 12 years old. Well, you met the wrong rabbi. How does a 12-year-old commit murder? Same as anyone. Someone asked me to, so I did.
Do you do everything people ask you to? If the price is right. I, I honestly just keep choosing the questions right now. What happened to you? Why are you so angry? Stop asking me these stupid questions! I am what I am, alright? Okay, okay, keep it down. Why are you being so defensive? I am not being defensive! Are you hiding from something? What? No! What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. I'm, I'm picking the options with the question mark, dude. Are you hiding behind that knife? I... well... No! Care to prove it? What? Go on. You don't need the knife? Prove it. Or are you nothing but a nebbish? You son of a bitch. I don't need it's a knife worked. to take your <laughs> sorry ass. Heh. <laughs> Old man, you're funny. You think your god's going to help you out of this? It works! Perhaps... Perhaps not. <laughs> But my four years on the B'nai B'rith Yeshiva High School boxing team will even the odds. What the hell, man? Perhaps you didn't hear me the first time. I love this. Now do I have your attention? Let me go, man! You have two choices. You can answer my questions. Or I throw you Ooh, onto the tracks. Look at us! What? Look at us! You're crazy! Am I? Train's coming. Make your choice. Fine. Hi, Fine. Mega. Who sent you? I... Answer. Zelig. Zelig? He's hooked in deep with the mafioso. Did you know that? He'd find struggling businessmen like your friends Jack and Ethan, and then hook them up with investors. Investors? Mafia investors. He got them involved with the mob? Yes. He got them in debt so deep they needed a tractor to pull them out. When they refused to pay, I was called in to take care of them. So you killed Jack Lauder and Ethan Goldberg? Yes. I see. Well, one question remains. What should I do with you? Just let me go! Are you well, sure? Careful what you wish. The train clattered off into the flickering distance, and Jody Marker remained unconscious for the life. Perhaps you still have some purpose to fill. I've Take him to the I police. Can. I've shown mercy. The rest is up to God. What are you doing? Take him to the police. A cold, sullen quiet radiated from the wooden panels of the door. Cold intuition, call it bogus. GG, if you wanna boost, feel free to boost. Anytime. Call it plain old curiosity. I somehow knew that the door would be unlocked. Hello? Mrs. Lauder? Rodshree? Hello? Oh no. The interior of the apartment was a mess. Chairs were overturned, glasses were broken, and the telltale signs of a struggle were evident. This wasn't over yet, not by a long shot. Okay. You are thinking, okay. A note? Shalom, Rabbi Stone. Evidently, my associate proved unable to complete his task as he did not contact me at the usual time. I believe we have business to discuss. Do stop on by. An address on the Upper East Side followed. Zelig. I could have walked away. I was getting Jack's money. I had solved the mystery. My conscience was clear. Yes, the angry cries of a dead man screamed in my soul. Jack, I'm sorry, Jack. As a man, I wished you all the happiness in the world. But as a rabbi... As a religious leader, out of duty, I could not accept it. Can you understand? Jack! Jack! Forgive me, Jack. I'm sorry I cast you out. I'm sorry my actions sent you down this path. I... I... Get a hold of yourself, Stone. This isn't your doing. All men have reasons for doing what they do. Some reasons are good, while some others are definitely evil. But most lie somewhere in between. For once, my reasons were crystal clear. Zelig. Zelig.
Zelig Residence. Enter. Rabbi Stone, how good of you to come. You didn't leave me much choice, Rabbi Zelig. That's not entirely fair. You could have walked away. I made a commitment. And you're so good at those, aren't you? Tell me what you want. I only want this, Stone. You're going to walk over to the balcony. Take a nice long look at the view. Enjoy it. It costs a bundle. Then, when you've thought carefully about what brought you here, you're going to jump over the edge. <laughs> I'll take your hat on, Rabbi. And why would I do this? How about to save her life? And if I refuse? I shoot her, then you, and throw you both off the balcony. I'd prefer to avoid complications, but it's the same to me either way. You think you'll get away with this? You have no idea what you're messing with, Stone. This goes way beyond you or me. I don't claim to see what lies beyond. All I see is a man charged with leading his people, but instead leads them to their deaths. It's not that simple, Stone. It never is. Pull your head out of the clouds and take a look around. This is how the world works. So, are you going to jump? Or is this going to get messy? Hmm, this will get us killed, I imagine. I feel like we have to agree then do something else, but let's see the other options. I braced myself for the impact. I felt a harsh puff of metal whiz past my torso and jammed harmlessly into the floor. My, my, looks like I missed. How careless of me. A twist of a smirk revealed it was anything but... You might want to rethink that move in the future. Let's try again. I froze again. The bullet creased my earlobe and embedded itself in the firewall. Oops, missed again. Perhaps I need a less uh, mobile target. <laughs> Holy f you shot her! What? You're surprised? I gave you ample warning. So, are you going to jump? Or am I going to shoot you too? I warn you. I won't make your death as quick as hers. He announced his crime. You'll never get away with this. Stone, you are in no position to argue with me. This gun? Untraceable. I'll say it's yours. And with your troubled financial situation and your synagogue in tatters, I doubt the police would question your actions too strongly. My, aren't you the brave one? I really hoped to avoid this. I just hit the carpet clean, the two. Well, you are lucky we didn't fall on a carpet. I had solved the case, but at the cost of my life. Zelig was Zelig Zelig was a detestable man, but he would go on living. As for me, I can't help my wonder. What if I could go back and through that again? A man like that shouldn't be allowed to walk the streets, let alone run a synagogue. I guess I'll never know. New critical hits boost. Xav just boosted Knights of Pen and Paper. New critical hits boost. Xav just wow. boosted Wilder Myth. New critical hits boost. Xav just boosted Black Geyser. You got knights. Wilder Myth. And Black Geyser. Thank you, Gigi, for the boosts. I appreciate it. And All right. Yeah. Let's see. And and so we can try this once. What happens if you refuse? Let's refuse. No. I won't do it. Very well. Oh, okay. Holy you sh what? I can won't. I can I reload? Let's refuse again. You vile murdering lowlife. You can go to I really hope I j Okay then. So we have to agree, as I guessed. A 
agree and then do something else. But let's do this once. Alright. You win, Zelig. You hold all the cards. Good boy. He can be taught. Start walking. Now, open the door, Stone. Is the same as Shiva called you? One more thing. <laughs> hey, Mr. Beastwick. Welcome to the channel. He moved the gun off of me and pointed it straight at Rashi Louder. Rashiri Louder. Why do you want to do this, Rabbi Zelig? Zelig! You! You son of a. DeMarco, you idiot! It's not enough you bungle your assignment. You show up here? Did anyone follow you? Oh, we, we I want my money. His life. You want what you deserve? Fine. So we spared his life, which what? probably gives us a chance now. Deserve it? I took a quick glance under Rashri. I couldn't help but think that was a close that a close call had been made. He certainly served his purpose. Now, move. All this bloodshed sickens me. Hmm. What happens if we stall? Maybe he is not dead. Because he was shot in the abdomen, you don't immediately die from being shot at the abdomen. You die a slow, painful death. So let's try stalling. I... Can it, Stone? You're on the edge. Now die with dignity and jump! I... Nothing you can possibly say will change things, Stone. I... Okay. Now let's climb, I guess. Well, what are you waiting for? The plane. Admire the view. Just admiring the view? Yes, it is nice, isn't it? The gun was too far away from where I was sitting. Let's climb back. I wonder how this will work, I don't know. Can we stall? I... But he's looking away. Having a change of heart? Well, make up your mind. Hmm. I don't think this will work, but let's try. The bullet caught me in the left arm, the pain fled like a supernova. Your bravado is irritating. Now, jump! Well, we, aren't, we are alive. Hi. Oh, we are closer. Oh, we are... We will be sitting closer. Let's try. Well, what are you... Just... Yes, it... Can we reach from here? Grab his gun. Okay, we need to get shot again, I guess. Having... Well... My right shoulder exploded into a fire furnace of pain. Black dots dotted in front of my vision as I struggled to keep focused. Your capacity for pain is indeed impressive. I'm almost tempted to watch you bleed where you stand. But time is short. Now jump or die. Okay. Now we do it. Now it's going to well, work for sure. What are you- 100%. Just... admiring the view? Yes, it is nice, isn't it? Weak from blood loss, I couldn't keep my my hold on the gun. It slid out of my fingers like melting butter. You, you momzer! You are a nothing! What's this? You think you can knock me out like some common street punk? He was old and certainly not as strong as me, but those two bullets had taken their toll. I am Amos Zelig! I've spearheaded the strongest Jewish synagogue in Manhattan for over 30 years! Who are you, little rabbi? Ooh. <laughs> Three questions. Okay. You really Let's think go with you this can one. win this fight? You think you can shut up? You call yourself a Jew? 
You call yourself a hero? How can you face God knowing This is the actual done? battle of your allies, by the way. I was joking about it before. Works. I'm sure he understands. But this is the actual one. Are you happy with this life, Zelig? Yes. Are you? You really think you can win this fight? Oof, Do you think you can stop talking long enough to throw a punch? Oh, do we want to... He pushed us over this edge. Hmm. Hey, <laughs> chicken nuggets gun. It is, it is interesting. You really call yourself a hero? So we have to Jew? catch him off guard. You really call yourself a hero? How can, How can anyone you? respect you? Power, greed, I, I think I get it. I think I get it. No, either, wait. Have maybe you? not. Maybe not. I was thinking whenever he doesn't come up with a question, we will have caught him off guard. And we can maybe throw a lunch. Throw a punch. Throw a lunch? I'd like someone to throw a lunch at me right now. Are there others like you? More than you can possibly imagine. It might, it might still work. Never mind. He punched us. Who do you think I am? Those tricks won't work with me, Stone. I've been playing that game since <laughs> you were knee-high to my tukus. You think you can out-rabbi me? Why don't you just give up? Why don't you just die? Hmm. It won't work like this. You have to do something. You really think God will understand your actions? Something different. God knows what is necessary. I'm sure he understands. Okay, so... And the... Yes, I had the right idea. So, he didn't end with a... Question, and we were able to throw the punch. Is Zelig dying, Dad? No. Well, maybe of old age, but no. Every <laughs> enemy I met, I rabinated. <laughs> Rabinated. Are you ready to die? Are you? So this doesn't work. Don't you know who I am? Don't make me laugh. Not a question. Think you're special? It is a question. <laughs> the main character? Well, we got shot in both shoulders. So... That is the only reason why this fight is kind of e kind of even right now. How can you live with yourself? With power. Our character is called Stone. Money. I way. manage quite well. So no question. Throw a punch. Is all this worth your soul, Zelig? I'm not giving up my soul for anything, Stone. Is all this worth your life? Just how many others are there? As I said, more than you can possibly imagine. Not a question. Is this how a rabbi acts? This is how the world acts. Last chance. You want to give up? No. Do you want to die? People really respect you after all this? I already told you, Stone. Power breeds respect. But you wouldn't know what that's like, would you? This one doesn't work. This one worked last time. Just how many others are there? As I said, more than you can possibly imagine. Oh, but he punched us. You really think a rabbi acts this way? I told you, Stone. This is how the world is. Get used to it. I ask again, how can you live with yourself? I have all the prestige and respect money can buy, Stone. I live quite comfortably. Not a question. Take this one, sir. You don't fear for your soul, Zelig? I fear nothing. Do you fear for your life? It's a question. How can you be happy with this life? 
Do you see this apartment? Do you see this view? Trust me, I am very happy with this life. Can you say the same? Oops. You really think a rabbi acts this way? I told you, Stone. This is how the world is. Get used to it. The third ones always end up with us getting punched. Hmm. I am. I have all I live. This works. I know this one works. You really? God, no, I'm sure. I think this one works too. So I will. I will keep choosing them. This one will work. Just as I more. This one doesn't work. This one also doesn't work. I think. Go for the eyes! <laughs> you really think you can win this fight? Do you think you can stop talking long enough to throw a punch? I ask okay. again. How this works? I, I, I just have to find those options all the time. Is that it? You really? God, I'm sure. Let's try this one. Are you ready to meet God, Zelig? I'll meet God in my own time, Stone. But not yet. Burp. Wrong. You really think you can win this fight? Do you think you... Okay. I ask... I have... I live... Yeah, this... The idea is great. It could have been more interesting, though. We had to find the correct options again and again, the Zelig. same ones. It's over. What do you have to say for yourself? Mazel tov, Rabbi Stone. I applaud you. To have come this far, you certainly are resourceful. Just what are you saying, Zelig? I do remember Jack Lauder. Very well. He came into my office eight years ago, looking to get married. It seemed that this Zionist pig-headed rabbi was against it. Oh, the things he said about you! Imagine my surprise when you showed up in my office. Yeah, I bet you were shocked, all right. I've done some checking up on you. In all these years, you've never learned to make concessions. Concessions? Concessions? The Jewish people are slowly becoming extinct. For thousands of years, we've struggled to keep our place on this planet, and you talk of concessions. As a rabbi, I do everything I can to help. And if that means refusing to conduct an interfaith marriage, then so be it. I can still look at myself in the mirror and call myself a rabbi. What are you, Zelig? You're nothing but a common criminal who consorts with gangsters and assassins. We all have our place in the big machine, Stone. And you? You're just a tiny squeaky wheel. Now be a good cog and just let me go. I know you don't have the guts to throw me over. Let's knock him out. We don't want to kill him. Rashiri was still bound and gagged. Her eyes shined with relief. I quickly untied so her. So, it's over? It's over, Mrs. Lauder. We'll leave Rabbi Zelig for the police. You're... you're hurt. You're bleeding all over. It'll be okay, Mrs. Lauder. Okay. You were shot. It's all right. Let's just get out of here. Well, all right, if you say so. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Mrs. Lauder. Call me Raj, please. After all this, I think you deserve it. But we're going to the hospital and no argument. You should probably call the police. Sure. Almost two hours. The week sped by. Jack's pastoral arrived in the mail and I was able to appease all my debts. Thanks to an anonymous tip, the police picked up Amos Zilig before he regained consciousness. He even tried to tell them that I attacked him, but thankfully, Rashri testified on my behalf. Back to the grind. Another week, another Shabbos. Has anything changed for me? Not really. Thank you, Kanner Kaplan. That's still pile up, but they won't be a problem as long as Jack's money holds. After that, it's best not to think about it. Is it, it only in the aftermath of pain? That we are justified in questioning God's fairness? 
Just how much pain must occur to legitimately raise the question, why do bad things happen to good people? Just how much pain? Then it hits me. God might not seem fair. We may not always feel connected to him. That is, we may feel lonely, and often do. Yet the underlying reality of our lives is that we are always connected, whether we feel it or not. Whether we accept it or deny it, the connection is there. And since we are connected, we are responsible. Battling for goodness is how we give our lives meaning. Maybe there are no answers. Ultimately, we may never find that elusive truth. Yet ultimately, we may find something else. Meaning, significance, and fulfillment. If so, that may be enough. Dear God, I hope that's enough. The end. Nice. Game 2 today finished. <laughs> It's a cool game. Nice, short, sweet, not difficult. But you know, especially if you think that this is this is the first game by Dave Gilbert, and the first game released by Vegetai. And if you can, you know, if you have played Blackwell and see what's spawned after this, out of this even, it's impressive. Now Rainbow Horse the Adventures now. <laughs> Now, now I go rest and get some food. After credits. I am glad that we we got we got to play this one. I wanted to play all Vegetai games and I, I didn't know when I would play this. I wasn't able to find a good time until today. Since it's such a short game. It wouldn't be great to have this all in a stream of its own. But yeah, I'm glad we were able to play it. It was. It was, Vincino. You buy kebab. Okay. Bloopers? Nah. We are done. We are done. And let's find someone to raid and then let's talk about stuff Most good. for a few minutes. New critical hits boost. Vinci Nomen just boosted Dungeon Siege. Or boosts. New critical hits boost. Vinci Nomen just boosted Nox. New critical hits boost. Vinci Nomen just boosted Elder Scrolls. Thank you, Vincino. Thank you, thank you. All right, who do we raid? Some good choices to raid. Who haven't we raided lately? We could go raid Braxton. We can raid Big D. I don't think we ever raided him. It would be good to raid someone new, someone different, every once in a while. Let's go. So, um, as I said before, in case you have missed it, I'm going to be taking a short break from streaming a few days. We are. I'm going to be back Friday with a new schedule. And starting Friday, Critical Hits games are going to be on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And these games, you know, the standalones and uh, full series challenges and the other stuff are going to be Tuesdays and Wednesdays. 
So yeah, uh, changing the schedule around a little bit is three days break. Then on the weekend, on Friday, we are going to come back to Critical It's and um, Disco Elysium is nearing its end. We are definitely going to finish Disco Elysium uh, this week, either on Friday or maybe Saturday or maybe Sunday. And then we are going to start a new game, which is either going to be Arena or um, or Temple of Elements level, it looks like. You'll miss the streams? Really? Why? Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, we are going to... We can talk about it later, GG. So, that's sad. But, you know, I'm going to try this schedule for a while. Anyway, if you enjoyed the streams, consider giving me a follow. And joining Discord to, you know, hear about everything, the schedules and stuff. And, yeah, see you in a few days. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves and be well. Now for now, goodbye.